uh, in the end, do you have the right successors line, li lined up? Do you have the team that's going to support that successor? See, I think business is not about strategy. That follows great teams. I don't think it's about next year's budget. I think it's about the best people on the field. I, I live that every day. I'm evaluating people in every meeting. Every meeting is a personnel meeting. Might be a budget review. No, it's a personnel review. You want to, don't kid yourself. That's what it is. You're assessing people all the time. And the heat is on for them to get better and better and better. And if you're driving that, if you're not falling in love with some crony that you got there, if you're not falling in love with, with somebody's relative or something else, you're better off. Because you're always trying to get a winning team. You're always trying to be, whether it be the, the 40 Yankees or the this and that football team or the Green Bay Packers or whatever you want to pick. But you want to be a winner. And you, you are relentless in building that team. And if you've got a team, that team will sustain you generation after generation. A culture of fairness, a culture, you, you, you define that culture, those behaviors you want. You get those, and you get a great team. Man, you can't be beat. You'll think, they'll figure out the changes. So some people always, always ask me, this is changing, that's changing. Well, if you get the right players, they'll love the change. They'll, every time there's a change, it's an opportunity. Most people suck their thumb when the change comes. Kill those people. <laughs> no, you want to, how can I take advantage? How can I leverage that new reg? How, how, how can I le le leverage that new standard? That you want to keep winning. <laughs>